Jan Apotskivanok, CS Doc. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining me. Today, I'm in the southern suburbs of the Hungarian city of Zalaegerszeg. About three years ago, I did a video where I explored the city centre. So, if you want to see what the city centre looks like, then have a look at the link on screen now. What we're going to do in today's video is we're heading, as I said, into the southern suburbs. We're going to head right out into the countryside to have a look at that. That is the Zalaegerszeg TV tower. It's um, the tower which you know is used for broadcasting all local TV signals but you can go up it so we're going to go up there we're going to see the view so we're going to continue walking out of the city into the woods we're going to go and see the views all over County Zala. So I'm on my way up to the TV tower I've um, just made a slight detour because they've opened this new sport and activity park just on the edge of Zala I guess they get some quite interesting you don't have to pay to go in but once you're in you choose which activities you want to do so I'm not actually going to do any activities today but I just thought it would be an interesting place to show you um, so obviously you've got various different exercises here over there is a like what we in England call go ape where you know where you climb in the trees interesting is the zip wire that comes from that tree there right across to there you land on that yellow you climb up a ladder up there and then you go right the way back across over there so that looks like fun um, but um, I'm not going to do that today although that does sound like fun thing to do so anyway, yeah, it's called the Ultra Airdy Sport Ultra Airdy Sport Echelon Park so basically that translates to sport obviously a sport and activity Ultra Airdy is the name of the forest Ultra means lower um, so we're in the lower part of the forest. A few times I've filmed trains at a village called Olsho Nemesha Partsi. Have a look at the link on screen now. So that means Olsho, again, it's the lower. There's also a village called Nemesha Partsi, which is higher. Look at this, this is exciting. Well, it's, uh, no one's using it, but it's a dry ski slope. It's there. So you can um, have a beer and have some food if you wish to. There's a, a deer there made out of of wood, quite a nice statue. There's uh, go karts, seemingly not just for children. There's adults having a go. I don't think I'm worried. I'll tell you what they do need here. They need a miniature railway. If they had a miniature railway, that'd be really exciting. Anyway, um, they haven't. Maybe they will one day. So what we're going to do now, and there's a map of the park. So yeah, it's worth. This is about. I'm probably about a mile away from where I first started the video. So a couple of miles from Zalaegerszeg city centre so it's worth a visit this place and if you look out there you can just see up on the hill the TV tower so we need to cross the road and go up through the forest to find the TV tower. So I've now left the road and I've come into this very peaceful valley it's called the Ozalias Volj which means in English the valley of the Azaleas or the Azaleas Valley. It's not really the right time of year to come here but if you were to come here in spring the azaleas would be all in bloom. People obviously come here, have barbecues, have picnics and um, here we are some of the azaleas I think up here and it was a few rhododendrons so probably this is the wrong time of year to come here but if you were to come here in spring it would probably be looking ahead of us it'd be a complete riot of colours it's just all lots of different greens at the moment it would be all, all the different flowers. I expect it looks really nice. So I'm going to continue on walking up up to the TV tower. I've been walking for about half an hour now climbing up through the forest. It's a bit, um, I had to kind of guess the way a bit. I didn't have a map of the area so I just sort of used my sense of direction and eventually I came to this what appears to be a very quiet road. Well I've not seen anything or anyone come along here but we appear to have found the tower, there it is, there are a few cars, so I think there's a road out the other side, which is probably going to be the route I'm going to take back down to Zaragesek town centre. So let's go and have a closer look. So it's built in the mid 70s, I believe it's 330 feet tall, so yeah quite tall. I'm not sure if that's the top of the, there's the viewing gallery and the top of the actual structure. And on top there's another aerial, so I'm not sure if the 330 feet is the top of the aerial or the top of the structure. I have a few years ago, I went up the one, there's another one in Page, which is Hungary's fifth largest city up on the hills above Page. 
there's the Pagey TV tower and that one is the tallest building in Hungary I remember sitting up there well I remember I went in the cafe and I went in the toilet I remember thinking of everyone in Hungary no one is using a toilet higher up than I am at the moment so um, th so that's the tallest building in Hungary so that's obviously taller than this one I think this one well, there is a huge difference in height but that one is taller see all these stairs going up round the outside but I don't think we get to walk up them it's quite a, quite a brutalist structure yeah so there's cars a few cars parked there so I expect um yeah you could come by car I think you can come by bus as well there's a road not too far if you were to walk off down there but I suppose now we're here the obvious thing to do is go inside and go up because I should think the views from up there are going to be pretty spectacular so let's go back to the front again have a look it's like a a balcony bit coming out here. Oh, is that some? I think uh, there's some facts there about the tower, but it's all in Hungarian. So if I can understand the tower, um, have a look. I can't pick out anything obvious. Oh, look, 1971. So I think that's when construction started in 1971. Trippy. <laughs> so that goes in there. I don't think we can go up this one, just going up here to have a look. Yeah, so that's closed off. That'd be quite fun to walk all the way up on the outside, but I think we're going to go in a lift. So if we go into the tower, I expect there's someone there. Um, what would you say? The room's empty. I mean, it's, I think it's what happens is you go in the lift, when you get to the top, you pay. So that it costs 450 forints. So that's not a lot of money. That's probably around a couple of pounds. Open from 11 till 8. Min den nop, that means every day. Nop is day. Nop is also sun, the sun. And today you could say it's noposh, it's a sunny day. So let's go in the lift and go up to the top of the TV tower. I've come up to the top of the lift. Get our first glimpse of the view now. But I'll probably look in a minute because what happens is there's a cafe up here. If we go around here, so the cafe effectively is free to visit. You can come here, have a drink. As you can hear, lots of people are. It's here, to go to here. And we actually go down, so we're kind of right in the middle of the town now. This is quite exciting. We're going to go down to an outdoor viewing gallery. That's the bit you've got to pay to go in. Oh, look, there's the workings of the lift there. Look, that, that's the back of the lift, which we just came up on. So. If someone was to go down in the lift, we'd see that. And it, yeah, it's a long way down. Um, so, oh, I see. So we come down here. Where that goes? Maybe I wonder if I could walk all the way down. I bet not. Okay, so I get to here. Um, and here's the view. You're supposed to be able to see the Alps in the distance. I'm trying to think which way the Alps would be. Probably be that way. Um, but anyway. That's the forest. Oh, I can see the park down there. Well, earlier on I said, look, there's the TV tower. So we were down there. We've come up. That's the Azalea Valley. I came right up there through the trees to up here. If we get to here, oh, it's going to be a bit windy. You can see and what you can't see. There we go. Salaregia Seg Town Centre. So um, what can we see? So yeah, the railway station's down there somewhere. That area there, that's known as the Garden City. Somewhere over the hills, that way. Quite a few miles away, like Balaton. just down there. Look at this, you don't normally get this close to these at the moment. Um, discs, like under satellite dishes. Slovenian border. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I can see there's people down at a lower level. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go down there and see what I can find down there. I've now come down to the lower level. I've just found out from just talking to someone. That 
platform there is for bungee jumping and you would go off and I'm not even going to put my arm with my camera over the edge to show you but you get the picture you'd be going falling a long way it's um once I'd never do it but it's not something that high on my list uh, here's those some of those uh, giant satellite dishes as I said it feels strange to be this close to them that's the deck I was on a moment ago good view out over the whole city it was a little bit windy. Um, yeah, it was up, isn't it? Yes, and the sea above me is like a, a roof. Well, that is where the cafe is. The cafe is actually higher up. So I'm going to go up there now and um, have a drink and admire the view from having a drink. And we're back down on the ground. It suddenly feels a bit warmer. Not really, really warm, but just warmer because um, it was air conditioned in the cafe up there and of course outside it was windy. I had a had a really, really nice iced coffee right up there in that cafe, which was very, very nice. I didn't record any video in there because there was quite a few people in there and they had the radio on um, and you know, sometimes songs appearing in the background of YouTube videos can interfere and you get in trouble for copyright reasons. So I didn't record in there, but you know, we, we saw the views. So yeah there it is above us i'm now going to follow the path out of here and pick up the road walk back down to zalaregia seg um so i hope you've enjoyed this video there's three of these tv towers which you can visit so there's one in page which i mentioned and i have been up that one that's the tallest building in hungary the other one and i really should go there is at Martra Furid, which is, uh, um, well, it's basically to the east of Budapest. And you can get to that one by narrow gauge railway. So I'm not quite sure why I haven't been to that one. But anyway, I haven't as of yet, but I'm sure I will at some point. And I'll go to Page at some point. So there's, there's three of these TV towers in Hungary, which you can visit. So there it is. A moment ago, we were right up there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to come and visit, you can either do the walk I did, it's a pleasant walk, but quite a long walk, or you can get one or two of the buses that come up here. So, from outside the TV tower in Zalaregeseg, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye. Viszont